Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'll be covering is PHP else if statements. Now else if statements are great if we wish to check for more than one condition. For example, say we wanted to create a website that displayed a certain message based on the temperature outside. So if the temperature is 60 degrees or less, we would say it is cold outside. Else if the temperature is between 60 degrees and 80 degrees, we would say it is warm outside. Else if the temperature is between 80 degrees and 100 degrees, we would say it is hot outside. Else it is extremely hot outside. So I know that is a lot to take in. So let's convert what I just said into a standard else if statement using plain English. All right, so first I'm gonna start a comment block because I'm not gonna use the correct syntax, but it'll be easier for you to understand the basic layout. So first I'm gonna type the word if, nothing new here, and then open my parentheses. I'm gonna say if temp is less than 60 degrees, close my parentheses, open my curly brace, type it is cold outside, close my curly brace. All right, so now on a new line, this is the new part. I'm gonna type else if, I'm gonna put those two words together, else if, open my parentheses, temp is greater than 60 degrees and temp is less than 80 degrees. Close my parentheses, open a curly brace. On the next line, I'm gonna say it is warm outside. And then on the next line, I'm gonna close my curly brace. And then on the next line, I'm gonna say again, else if, temp is greater than 80 degrees and temp is less than 100 degrees. Close my parentheses, open a curly brace. I'm gonna type, it is hot outside. Next line, close my curly brace. And then finally, I'm gonna end this if statement by writing the else, it is extremely hot outside. And then I'm gonna close my curly brace. All right, so let's reevaluate what I have here. So first I have the if statement, which is nothing new. And we know that if this condition is true, we're gonna go ahead and execute this code. However, if this is false, we're gonna to go to the next else if statement, evaluate its condition. So basically if the temperature is between 60 degrees and 80 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and execute this code. However, if this condition is false, we're gonna to go to the next else if statement if there is one. So there is, so we're gonna evaluate this condition. If that's true, we're gonna execute this code. If all of these are false, including the if statement, we're just gonna execute this code. So again, I should point out that if this else if condition was true, we would just execute this code and then we would jump out of this entire if statement. That'd be all that we would do. We'll execute this once and then we'll jump out. We wouldn't care to evaluate the following conditions if we had any. I should also point out that you can have as many else if statements as you wish. I just have two here to make it simpler. And also you can't start an else if statement without a preceding if statement. So that means I couldn't start it without the if statement above. I can't start it like this. this. This isn't correct. So I have to have a preceding if statement, something to start this whole else if statement off. So now let's convert this into a real standard else if statement using the correct PHP syntax. And I'm gonna write example. And I'm gonna write or create a variable called temp, which is short for temperature. Assign the value 50. And in comments, I'm gonna say holds the temperature. All right, and then on a new line, I'm gonna say if temp is greater than 60, I'm gonna echo out, it is cold outside. All right, and now I'm gonna write else if, I'm gonna say else if temp, it's greater than 60 and temp is less than 80. Echo out, it is warm outside. Close my curly brace. 
again on a new line i'm going to write another else if temp is greater than 80 and temp is less than 100 echo out it is hot outside and finally we're going to get to our else and we're going to say else echo it is extremely hot outside all right okay so again it should be very clear what's going on here i've declared a variable i've assigned a value to it which is representing our degrees and then i come to the if statement and i evaluate this condition if it's true i'm going to go ahead and execute this line of code if that's true i'm going to just go ahead and jump out of this if statement i don't even care about the rest of these else ifs if this condition is true however if this condition is false i'm going to go to the preceding else if statement evaluate it see if it's true if it's true i'm going to execute this code and again i'm going to jump out of this if statement and go to the rest of the code if we had any so again we can have as many else if statements as we wish and you can see that the else if statement, unlike the else, allows us to evaluate an entire different condition. However, if none of these conditions are true, we're just going to go ahead and echo out. It is extremely hot outside. But a common mistake that new PHP programmers make is they forget that you must have this preceding if statement before you start using these else if statements. So think of it this way. The else if statements are like the children of the if statement, which can be considered the mother. So without the mother, there cannot be any children. Thus, your else if statements would not work correctly. So let me go ahead and save this and just show you an example in our browser. I'm going to save this as else if .php. Come over to my browser, type in localhost, the PHP basics, and we're going to change this to else if php and as you can see it says it is extremely hot outside so the reason why is and i did this purposely is our first condition is false since 50 is not greater than 60 also 50 is not between 60 and 80 degrees and also 50 is not between 80 and 100 degrees so it by default goes to this else statement since all these conditions preceding it are false and it goes ahead and execute this echo string it is extremely hot outside however if we switch this greater than sign around to a less than sign save it load it in my browser hit refresh as you can see it says it is cold outside so that does conclude this tutorial and hopefully now you have a better or new understanding about PHP else if statements. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure that you understand the basic concepts for PHP else if statements. And I'll see you in the next video.